Shabbat Shalom. Let me begin by wishing all of our children here at Bethel who are attending summer camp away from home a wonderful summer. Tzeichem l'shalom v'tachzirim l'shalom. May you go in peace and may you come back in peace. In this week's Torah portion we read about the rebellion of Korach. And this is a rebellion that is discussed very often throughout Jewish literature. But I want to focus on one piece of it. And I want to pose a question at the beginning. How good do we have to be? And when do we stop working on our own person? Korach and his fellow rebellion mates basically say, we are all holy. Kulam Kedoshim. The entire nation is good. And therefore, why, Moses, do you ask so much out of us? In other words, Korach and his friends believe that they don't have to work on themselves anymore, that they are good enough, or even, dare I say, perfect, and therefore what Moses and God and Aaron are asking of the people is just unnecessary. In reality, the folly of their rebellion is that we never stop working on ourselves. How good do we have to be is almost an unanswerable question. We constantly work and strive to be the best possible versions of ourselves that we can be. We do that in many ways. We do that by engaging in community. We do that by engaging in acts of goodness. We do that by being with family and being with people who not only love us and reward us in our best moments, but who also in some of our difficult moments are strong enough to let us know that we need to do a little bit of work. It's crazy for me to think that the high holidays are just a few short months away. But in reality, we sometimes think that the only time we really have to do this work is in that 10-day period between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Korach made this same mistake to think that that work, the personal work, the work that we do to make ourselves the best that we can be, is somehow unnecessary or somehow stops at some point. It doesn't. We're constantly doing it, working at it. And because of that, I wish you all much luck in this very holy endeavor. Shabbat Shalom.